Welcome to the tutorial. S711 Soft Starter Pump Start using the keypad. This tutorial shows how to configure the S711 Soft Starter for a pump, for example a rotary pump, as a representative of the centrifugal pumps with the typical parameters using the keypad. Additional features for operating a pump are also shown. The content of this video includes Configuring the S711 soft starter using the keypad. Explanation of the special pump parameters in the S711 soft starter. Starting and stopping the S711 soft starter by command via the terminal strip with a simulated load. The typical connection of the S711 soft starter is not covered in this tutorial. This is explained in detail in the video tutorial S711 Soft Starter Quick Setup. In addition, the following steps are based on the factory settings of the device. When the controller supply voltage is applied, the factory set monitor display appears after a short time. Pressing the right arrow button takes you to the main menu. Press the down arrow key twice to select the user parameters menu. Press the right arrow button to enter the password. In the factory setting, this password is 6x0, which is entered by pressing the right button 6 times. The access rights for the password and for Bluetooth, as well as the language and the command source, can be configured in the P1 menu. The motor data is entered in menu P2. The rated motor current of 15 amps is entered here in P2.1. The motor power must be entered as 8 kW. The value appears in parallel in horsepower. The value of P2.3 trip class with 10 is retained. For a heavy duty startup, for example a stone crusher, the maximum trip class of 30 could be pre-selected so that the thermal motor model of the S711 does not trigger prematurely during startup. The value of the motor service factor, P2.4, should be set to 100% for IEC applications. This value is also recommended if the motor service factor is not known. If the motor manufacturer permits a permanent overload of the motor of, for example, 20%, this value could be increased to 120%. P2.5 is used to set whether the connection between the device and motor is inline, three lines to the motor, or inside delta, six lines to the motor. Caution. The inside delta configuration must not be used if the motor itself is connected in delta, for example delta 400 volt slash star 690 volt. This would lead to high currents and possibly to tripping of the upstream protective device. The motor efficiency class is set in the last parameter of group P2 with P2.6. The start-stop behavior of the soft starter is configured in menu P3. The start mode is set to pump control with P3.1. The factory set value of 10 seconds for the start time is retained with P3.2. The initial current, P3.3, with 200% is reduced to 100% in this example. The value proposed in P3.4 for the current limit is reduced from 350% to 300% for the simulation in this tutorial. The pump start profile in P3.5 is changed from constant acceleration to early acceleration, for example to ensure lubrication of the pump. The following parameters for kickstart P3.6 and P3.7 have no function with P3.1 set to pump control. If this function is required, for example for a pump in a rainwater overflow basin, because this may run once a month and the pump could get stuck, constant current should be selected as the start mode. Parameter P3.8 could be used to set a jog torque, for example, to remove impurities from a pump by forwards and backwards jog operation. The diagram shows the maximum available torques in jog mode compared to normal operation. The stop mode is set in P3.9 with pump control. The stop time of 10 seconds stored in P3.10 is increased to 15 seconds here, for example to prevent a water hammer due to the pump running out more smoothly. The pre-selection of parameter P3.11, pump stop profile, to late deceleration also helps to prevent water hammer.
With the setting start mode to pump control, the S711 provides a very interesting feature for optimized starting and stopping of a pump at. If the pump does not perform this properly, fine tuning can be carried out using parameter P3.12 pump control gain. Here, P3.12 can be used to determine how much the soft starter adjusts future starts and stops based on the information from the previous start. The gain setting influences both the start and stop behavior. Some tips for optimizing this parameter. If the pump accelerates or decelerates too quickly when starting or stopping, P3.12 should be increased by 5 to 10%. If the motor speed fluctuates during starting or stopping, P3.12 should be reduced slightly. Changing one of the parameters P2.1, motor nominal current, or P20.9, tracking gain, resets the optimization of the pump control. If the optimization is undesirable, for example, if different motors are run up and down in cascade, or the pump is connected to a pump distributor alongside other pumps, this can be deactivated via parameter P3.13. The last parameter of interest for a pump application in this group is P3.14, start delay. With this parameter, the S711 carries out a delayed start if, for example, a valve and the pump receive a start signal at the same time. The delay ensures that the S711 only starts when, for example, the valve is open after five seconds. The following parameters P3.15 to P3.18 are not considered further in this tutorial, as they are generally not relevant for a pump application. Parameters P5.4 to P5.6, minimum current, from group P5, motor protection, could be used, for example, to be able to react accordingly if the pump runs dry. The parameters P5.16 to P5.18, minimum power, could also be used for this. Note, the error messages minimum current and minimum power could also come into effect if a motor is tested without a coupled load. To protect against thermal overload, a restart delay, factory setting 10 seconds, can be set with P5.24. P5.25, factory setting 4, can be used to set the permitted number of starts within an hour for mechanical protection of the pump, see manufacturer's data sheets. Corresponding information on the remaining waiting time for the restart delay and the next possible start is displayed on the control unit. For mobile pumps where it cannot be ensured that the correct rotating field is connected, the necessary rotating field can be defined with P5.26. After entering all the data, pressing the back button several times switches back to the standard monitor display. The configuration made is now demonstrated with a simulated quadratic characteristic curve. In terminal strip mode, the hardware is enabled at digital input 2, switch EN, and the ready LED lights up continuously. Digital input 3, switch A, is used to switch from local to remote, which is indicated by a continuous light on the remote LED. The fifth monitor setting is shown on the right, with a histogram of the current curve. When the start is enabled, via digital input 1, run, with the previously set start delay of 5 seconds, the loaded motor starts up optimized by the pump algorithm. Successful startup is indicated via relay K2, terminals 23 and 24, by means of the LED in switch EN. When the run command on digital input 1 is cancelled, the soft stop is initiated with a stop time of 15 seconds. The histogram on the right shows, due to the late deceleration setting, that the current only increases at the end. Thank you for your attention. 